Good morning. I wanted to see what y'all guys were up to today. Let's check out your Facebook. Hot cross buns. Hot cross. Look how bouncy and fluffy they are. Is there a recipe? There's a recipe. I'm gonna make some potato bread. I love bread. Let's go over the recipe. We got bread flour. Check. Whole milk. Check. Mashed potatoes. I got two potatoes. I ain't matched them yet. Light brown sugar. Check. Salt. Check. Instant yeast. Check. Eggs. Check. Butter. Check. We are ready to go. Let's mess some potatoes. Mash them, mash them, mash them, mash them. Mash them, mash them, mash them, mash them, mash them. Mash them, mash them, mash them, mash them. Now we need 450 grams of bread flour. So let's just start pouring them in. Add some more. Still need a little bit more. Well, I don't know I chose the right bowl, but we still need to add some more. <laughs> Too much. Um, we need to take some away. Then a little bit more away. And then a little bit more away. Crud. Too much. Okay, a little bit more. Ah! A little bit too much. We got to do 170 grams of mashed potatoes. 110 grams of whole milk. So, let's go. A little bit more. Shoot, always too much. Now we need 35 grams of light brown sugar. Easy enough. I'm calling that close enough. Hey. Grams of sugar. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Eight grams of salt. 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 Eight grams. Then we gotta do seven grams of yeast. Uh, I, I messed up a little bit when I opened up and sprinkled it out everywhere. But we got seven grams. Two eggs, so much easier to count. And then put all the ingredients in a mixer 
Except the butter. Now that it's mixing, let's go ahead and add in the 60 grams of butter. Then add in a butter a few pieces at a time and knead until smooth. Now that we've added in the butter, we're supposed to shape the dough into a ball. It already looks like a ball. So I think I'll just leave it like this and then I will cover it and come back in one to two hours until it doubles in size. Let's get a good look to see what size it is now so we can see how big it is in one to two hours. So now's the hardest part, just waiting around. I got it. I got it back there on the stove, just covered and sitting. And I was just waiting like hour to two hours. You think that's gonna go by in like a second? So it's been one hour. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> it got so big! I think, I don't think we let it wait like two hours. But we'll give it like 30 more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so bouncy and fluffy, just like her video. But I still get to separate them, and that's the real test. So the whole thing is 933 grams. You divide that by six and it's 155.5. So let's split them up. So I definitely had to add a little flour to the recipe. Just get a little, a little sticky and everything like that. But I, but I double checked with my sources. I got a little, like, add a little flour and just make it easier and stuff like that. Because the first time I tried to make that pretzel shape with the, without the flour, it was all, it was, it was just horrible. 
And so now I gotta go educate myself on how to make the right pretzel shape. I got it. I, it. It took practice, and then I got a little, little bit of flour put in, and then you had to remember that at the end, the two little pieces at the end, that when they go over each other, you gotta pinch them together until they go together. It was, but I got it. Five, five, six of them look great. Here, let me show you. So then we let it sit, we let it rise, for 30 minutes and now now the oven's preheated and it's been 30 minutes it's actually been an hour now it's been been not 30 minutes it's been like 45 minutes and then and now i get to put the egg wash on them and then put them in the oven we are down to the last steps And just like that, they're in the oven. We're in the home stretch. <laughs> I think it's like 22 to 26 minutes. Yep. And then they're going to be done. <laughs> I had to come over here and take a look at the rolls in the oven, even though we're still just halfway done. And that's because it smells amazing. I mean, I, I, it, I don't have a big place here. And the whole place smells like delicious bread. And I can't wait to try it. I'm probably going to try that little special one in the back and eat that one first. Just so I can get it out the way and leave all the pretty ones out there. It smells good. So now it has been 23, 24 minutes. And they are, look perfect through the screen. We're going to take them out now. I can't wait. They look perfect. So, we took them out. 
And they are perfect. You saw the video. Now let's take a look now. <laughs> It's so soft. We're gonna cut it open now and give it a taste test. All the hard work. Here is the taste test. Mm. That's good. It's nice and soft. And <laughs> it's just falling apart. It falls apart because of the the pretzel roll combination, so you get little chunks off like this. It's perfect. I wouldn't say it came out perfect because I think my rolling technique really needs a lot to improve, but it came out great. It smells delicious and it tastes delicious. So, call that a win. Bye.